All right, now we're going to do the video about sweet corn. So this is my plant. I'm actually holding this up. You can see the cute guy holding it. So this is my sweet corn. What I did is that I ended up using John's method, and I put the corn inside of here once it was actually done. Now, there's a trick to growing sweet corn. A lot of people think you can just put it in soil. There's about five tricks you can actually do with it to make it grow straight. You can actually see this one right here is actually tilting this way. I'm actually going to show you uh, something really interesting about it. I put the seeds inside, and what I did is that after using the method, I had them out for a while, and <clears throat> try to put the seeds on the surface. Now I'm going to tell you why. The reason why some people actually put their seeds inside the soil is because they soak it up a little bit. After you put the seeds in soil of corn kernels, that's it. Don't do anything extra. Get a regular container that you actually can. Let's use this. Get a regular container, cut it in half, half fill it with dirt, put the corn kernels on the top after you've used the famous John's method. After you've done that, you put the seeds on top and you leave them there. And what I do is I basically, I don't pour water on it, I just sprinkle it with water. Now you can get a little sprinkler, you can pick them up at Walmart, you can go to a dollar store, and you just spray them. That's it. Afterwards, you will see two things. One, they're going to end up growing in two ways. You're going to see two things come out. One is going to be the root. The other one is going to be one of these stems that's actually going to end up going up. So once you actually see that, that's when you know it's beginning to grow. Then what I do is I put a layer of dirt right over it. After you do that, the plant figures out that it has to get past that layer of dirt to go to the top. It ends up growing fast. Remember, you have to water them. Corn seeds need a lot of water. They need a lot of moisture, but do not pour water on them. You want to sprinkle it on. Okay, now we're going to get back to the chart that I put. So, sweet corn. This is the one that we're actually doing right now. In order to grow it, it's going to have fast growth when you apply perfect moisture. Now, no one's perfect, but just apply moisture to the top layer once you see the kernels are actually growing. And if you don't see kernels growing after... I believe it's three weeks and they're not going to germinate. Some are slow germinators, but you get that after about a week and a half, two weeks, but not up to a third week. The kernels that I put in hit up within seven days. And that's because I use the famous John's method. Very simple. You need wet soil. Now, there's a trick to doing this, and I'm going to explain it. When you have the container, just like how it is, cut it in half, there's a little trick that I do. Put water here, then put the soil, you know, it depends what kind of soil you're using. If you want to use bit soil, bit soil is a soil that you can get, it's like little crummy, little crummy pieces. It's very dark, dark brown. You can just put it in there and it has a very, very, very small amount of compost. You can put that in there. What happens is the water itself will soak up into that all the way up to the top. Especially if you have compost here, it takes all the fertilizer all the way up to the top. You can do that. But when growing corn, do not apply compost to it the first time. What you want is you want the seed to grow in its environment first. Then you apply compost. Now, you see it's actually in a container. And right now it's about, I give it about a foot, maybe 13 and a half inches, maybe. Then I'm going to start changing the container into, you see it's a half, this is about, I'd say about an inch and a half. I actually have here. What I end up doing with this is a trick to actually allow the roots to basically grow out. One thing you can do with this, after, get a container that is about an inch and a half and grow the corn there. Once the corn grows to a foot or over 13 inches, change the container, but don't put it in a deep container. Put it in a container that's now about two inches or so. Now, why do you think I said that? Very simple. You're going to start seeing the roots grow to the bottom, but not all the way. What I wanted to do in the end is actually allow the roots to penetrate into there. I want several roots growing out. You want it growing grounded because what's going to happen is there's going to be wind. And you're not able to protect the plant from wind unless you actually have a greenhouse. Basically simple. Put it in a separate container, but just make the container slightly bigger every time. So when the corn reaches, 12 inches, change the container to 2 inches. 
When the corn reaches another 6 inches or 18 inches, change the container again to 4 inches. Basically, that's it. For every 6 inches, change the container to 4 inches. That's all you need to do. But it allows the root itself to spread out and penetrate before you actually put it inside of the garden. The reason why we're using a plastic container is because it's a lot easier to do, it's cheap, and it's great if you have a budget garden. This right here is about 8 inches. And you can actually use a plastic container. Don't throw them out. Keep them. They're amazing. You can use Now let's get in the sweet corn because I think we're running out of time. Now fast growth, wet soil, grown corn. Put the water there, put the seed, let it just penetrate inside of there. Now, you're able to grow the corn, but it's going to have a good growth, and you're going to have to watch this. Okay? It's not about sunlight. It's about water and watching the plant itself. Now, the plant is going to have a lot of sugar in the kernels itself, but as it grows and you basically break it off, you're going to start, this is a really, really sugary corn. You can get sugar out of this if you have a machine. So I'm going to see if we can come out. Uh, I'm going to see if you should write that down. If someone can come up with an idea to how you, a low budget way to actually get sugar out of the kernels. All right, so compost. You can put compost in the ground, but don't put them when it's a seed yet. Allow it to grow in its own environment. Once it reaches three feet, then you replace it and put it inside of the ground. Now, it's going to grow inside of these containers, but you give it time. Put compost in the ground. Don't put any acidic compost. Don't put orange peels in there. You can put banana peels, uh, apple slices in there, anything you want. But don't put anything acidic yet. You don't want acid getting to a plant that's not fully grown. It's not going to be able to take the acid because, remember, it's compost. It's in there with other things. So how do you actually break your corn out the perfect way? When you have your corn like this, break the kernel down this way. You don't ever want to just rip it off or cut it off. Break it down. A lot of farmers know it. You break it down. You don't ever cut the kernel part. All right. <clears throat> and so that's how you grow sweet corn.